shall separate us from the love of Christ. Paul begins Romans 8 with no condemnation. Now, therefore, there is no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. And he ends the chapter with no separation. For who shall separate us from the love of God? My friends, no one can condemn us. And as no one can condemn us, I declare this morning that no one can separate us from the love of God. Can somebody give the Lord some praise? Is there anyone who can separate the justified from the love of Christ? A search was made for the most adverse circumstances that have been effective in causing separations in other area of other areas of human life. Stress, distress, persecution, hunger, nakedness, danger, and martyrdom. These seven adversaries, all of which were experienced by the Apostle Paul, and some of which we are experiencing in varying degree this morning. But all of these, they don't have the ability in and of themselves, they do not possess the ability to separate us from the love of God. Oh, somebody give the Lord some praise here. If I'm naked, I'm still going to serve him. If I am persecuted, I'm still going to serve him. Stress or distress, I'm still going to serve him. Because none of these things, somebody say no. Somebody say none. None of these things shall separate us from the love of God. We say with the hymn writer, I've seen the lightning flashing. I've heard the thunder roll. I've felt sin breakers dashing, trying to conquer my soul but i heard the voice of my savior telling me still to fight on he promised oh glory he promised he promised never to leave me never to leave me alone can i tell somebody this morning that god is not slack concerning uh, his promise. Uh, whatsoever I say he'll do, uh, he'll surely do it. The writer continues, the world fierce winds are blowing. Temptation sharp and keen. But I have a peace in knowing uh, my Savior stands uh, between. Uh, he stands to shield me from danger when earthly friends are gone he promised never to leave me oh god help me here this morning never to leave me alone it doesn't matter what you're going through it doesn't matter how many forces rise against you they shall come one way but they shall flee seven ways because the Lord God Almighty is with us. Somebody shout a praise to the Lord. My friends, we have been hard pressed on all sides but not crushed, perplexed, but not 
despair, persecuted, but not uh, forsaken, struck down, <laughs> but not uh, destroyed, because uh, he promised. Can I speak to somebody this morning? You might be on your face. Everything might be going against you. Struck down, but you won't be destroyed because you are more than conquerors. And the everlasting God is on your side. God is our refuge and strength, a present help in the time of trouble yeah, though I walk uh, to the valley of the shadow of death uh, I will fear no evil for thou art uh, Jehovah Shana is with me uh, somebody clap your hands uh, and praise God uh, I am uh, more than a conqueror. Somebody say yes. Somebody say yes. My friends, these adversaries stress. Have anybody feel stressed this morning? These adversaries, distress. Are you going through some serious problem today? Persecution, hunger, nakedness, danger, the sword, which speaks of martyrdom, were effective in other aspects of life but when it comes uh, to separating us from the love of God uh, they are powerless instead of separating us from God they cause us uh, to cling closer to God because we recognize our weakness can't even walk without him holding my hand when I'm stressed I get down on my knees when sorrow arise I draw closer draw me nearer nearer Blessed Lord, when I'm persecuted, I draw nearer. For I can't make it without Him. When I'm hungry, I draw nearer. For He is Jehovah Jireh. He is my shepherd. The God separate me. What they do is that they draw me. They draw me closer to him. And therefore, we can emphatically declare that we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. My brothers and sisters, you are more than a conqueror. You are not defined by your experiences. You are not defined by your situation. So guess what? All right now, you may not have enough money to do something. But guess what? You are not financially depraved. Can I talk to somebody? You are not. Your situation don't define who you are. The truth is you don't have enough money, but you are not financially depraved. This morning you may be weak. 
That is your experience, but you are not we. That's why the songwriter says, And now let the weak say I am. And let the poor say I am. You see, you have to understand that your circumstances don't define you. You are a child of God. Clap your hands, somebody, and praise God. You are defined by the Christ that lives in you. You are a treasured child of God. Very often, we allow life circumstances to define us. And we walk around saying, I am weak. We walk around saying, I'm poor. But just remember, those might be some realities that you are experiencing. And that's what they are. But who you are, you are more than a conqueror. Clap your hands and praise God.